Hello guys and welcome back. We are playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter and I feel we are rather close to the end of this game but before we go back into this mine, uh, you kind of probably know what happened around here if you watched the previous part, I think I want to go back and explore a little more uh, because in the previous video I've seen one thing, like last time, you remember up there, it was the same story, uh, I see one thing that I didn't really explore so I'm gonna walk back to here and it's a bit unfortunate that in this huge building there are only these two rooms right maybe I missed something did I miss something no I don't think I did no I didn't but you see if you see through the window here you can see some shapes in there anyway you see that right there these steps going down because remember in the pre previous video I was already kind of seeing stuff on this little island over there. And uh, I didn't see a way to get over there, so... I can actually walk over here. And make my way to the other side of this forest, basically. And I'm sure there's something that we can explore here, because all these electricity wires... Go to over here. There must be something, right? They wouldn't build all this stuff just for the look of it. Must have some kind of purpose. And also, I mean, there's a walkway here. Basically, I'm just too scared to go back into the to the mine. But I think in the long run, won't get a won't get around it. Basically. So let's see if we can find anything down here at all, or maybe it is just decoration. Who knows? Who knows? Oh look, there's a tiny it's river. Close. Oh, there we go. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. But... I th Okay, I thought this game is gonna end with this huge wheel under the earth, this kind of puzzle door, you remember that, with all the zombies and stuff? You know, I thought that's gonna be the end of the game, I solve that puzzle, I go through the gate, I find the boy, everything's cool, or whatever happens. And now he's saying that the boy's down here, so I'm kind of thinking whether I should go back and solve the other puzzle first. Don't know, but my sense of exploration keeps pushing me forward. Oh boy, look at this pretty view. It's just like the Alps or something. Or like in Scotland. I don't know. Pretty clear water. Nice. But not much I can do around here. Fine. Wait, was there something? No, that's just where I'm coming from. Okay. Is there anything back there? Any houses? Because... I mean, I have to go back into the mine anyway. I thought I'm going to go here and maybe, I don't know, solve a quick puzzle and then I go back in the mine and then finish the game or something like that. But now it keeps getting more and more. What is that? Is that a burnt down building over there? Oh boy. It does look like a burnt down building. That doesn't look good for the people who were in there when this happened. Not much left of this property. This lovely line, so I assume this was the entrance. Let's walk inside. Well, it's still glowing, do you see that? It's still hot. So, it can't happen long ago. Like, it must happen in, like, last night or something. What's that? The stone circle. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Okay, Corvus, Corvus, Corvus. Wait. Wait. No, I want Rotate, rotate. Wait, wait, why did I why did he not let me like locate the Corvus thing? Oh, puzzle time. But he just... 
you know how this feature in like when you look around and then you focus on one spot and it gives away where the location is I saw like oh, damn it okay I can't do much here I guess which letters do they have B O S G A C S C okay so they all do have different letters can't solve it right now maybe let's look around a bit more whether we can find something else it helps us to shed some light on this puzzle anything anything No. I feel a little bit like in uh, L.A. Noir. I don't know if you played that. But there's one crime scene where a whole house has been kind of blown up. There's not much left of it. Same as here, and you just walk through the ashes, look for evidence. But in L.A. Noir, there was much more to be found than here, because all I can find here right now is this circle. Where is this Corvus thing, seriously? Bugs me a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Around the actual house. Seems to have been like quite a big mansion, you know, just judging from the footprint and the two lines on the entrance. Doesn't look like a small house to me. Anything up here, back here? No. Nope. Just forest. Mm. So how the fudge am I gonna solve this puzzle if I don't get any hint I mean I have nothing to to go on you know what I mean there's nothing there <coughs> just these two or these few wheels that I can spin with random letters on them what is that is that a building or just like a star it's just a stone right or is it just a stone See, hoping for every little piece to be some kind of hint. Must be more though. Can't be everything. Must be more. No. Can't walk up there. It's all too steep for our investigator. Eh, nope. Okay, so I guess this is it then. Let's maybe have a look down at the coast, along the lake. If there is anything. Nope. Not really. Is that something? Or does it just look like something? It's a bit red over there, but uh, probably it's just the earth underneath. The stones are red, right? So nothing to be found. God damn it! So maybe this game gets kind of hard towards the end. Who knows? Who knows? Then it kind of gets a bit trickier. But uh, don't know. Really don't know. I just don't want to miss any hints in the surrounding area. Okay, so it looks like our little stone circle over here really is the only thing that we can interact with, really. Looks like that at least. Hmm. 
Okay, then in that case, let's maybe think about it for a second. Is there anything we can come up with? Rotate. Oh, wait. No, okay. I thought one is white, so it kind of indicates it's correct. That would have been too nice. G G G oh God. G it's like you don't even know where to start, you know, what's your first letter? Probably this one, right? Because there's like a metal string, some kind of connection going. So is it A? Is it C? Let's let's play with the Go Gordon. Go Dern Gordon with, with an E. <laughs> okay, nice try. G okay, okay, okay. So, but A S A B. Or is it some stupid, some stupid alphabetic thing? A B C D E F. A B C D E F. No. Apparently not. No, nothing happened, right? So let's try C. Was there even a G? No, yeah, there was a G. Sorry, I, th I just thought I read the C as a G. So C. Call, call, call. Oh, maybe there's this guy. Call. What was his name? Call. Vo Corvus. Was it Corvus? Oh, there we go. Open door. Oh, right here is a secret creepy door. And it leads me to... Another burnt room under the earth. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, it's so creepy. Don't jump in my face, please. Don't jump in my face. Chart. Oh, don't tell me that's that's Ethan Carter or something like that. Be a horrible ending. Touch him. Okay, that's it. Found our bubble. Okay, so we are still in the basement. Nothing is burned. And. There are three story spots to be revealed. They want to burn down the house. They've got a lot of gasoline. What is Ethan doing? Trying to move the table? Don't know. And they try to open the door. So it would be boring if this is like one, two, three. So I guess this is number one. This is number two. And this is number three. Uh, uh, click, click, click. Let me tag it. Yes. Okay, let's see if that works. No, no. Is there more? Because I can't... Ah, okay, so he's one of them as well. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, four. Okay, let's see if that I works. Found Vanderbilt's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone... Nope. That's the wrong order. Already the first one. <coughs> so in that case, I think he must be number one. Let's try that. Gail. It has to be this way. Ah. Unlucky me. All of those are not right. So it's either this one. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, or get away from me. This is the one. Your okay. grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. Gail. Nope. Yeah, okay, that is obvious. Obviously the wrong choice. So that is number one. Then two. 
three, four. He's I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Four. Look. Oh, clever boy. Look, he's revealing some room, corpses. I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Okay, get in the room. I can squeeze through. Go, Ethan. So is Ethan actually in this room? Oh no. Oh, because he is possessed. And he just wanted him to be in that in that room. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper is inside us now. Oh boy. No, he's taking it like a man. Okay, that is pretty bad. So I guess that's kind of the last space where we've seen Ethan in this room. So let's see if we can open that somehow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. But we're still not in the present time, right? This is still his vision. Too late. I was too late, indeed. So now coming back to reality. Here, again, I knew this story, and it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Okay, so we got this wall mural we can inspect. These are, oh no, there's the dam, there's the bridge we came from, the church. It's exactly what we investigated. Stories, question marks, space capsule, the house of portals. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, these are, oh, we can fast travel to there, that's clever. These are the traps. We haven't finished that. This one, I don't even know what it is. It looks like it's pointing to the church, but I have no idea what it is. Um, stories. And what is that down there? I don't know what that is. That's something I missed, apparently. So the space capsule we've done, right? That's all done. Hmm. All right. You know what? Let's travel to the to the traps. See if we can solve that puzzle first. Let's do that. And uh, I'm sure there is some kind of fast travel mechanic once we finish this takes us back to the wall mural and then we can travel to the other location solve all the puzzles and then maybe that gives us insight in how we have to solve the final puzzle down in the cave with the zombie you know how we have to arrange all these weird wheels around the gate here we are back where we started more or less okay Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, one trap was over here. I remember that. Oh, you don't scare me this time, bro. Sets it. Okay, tiny half moon shaped thingy. Right. 
that was the second one. So far I discovered it. So that makes it a bit bigger. But not big enough. So there is one more, at least one more, maybe even more than one. Where is it? Come on, little trap. Where are you? Where are you? I just heard some sound over here that sounded like a... Uh, like a rope being stretched or something like that. Which would indicate a trap. Come on, you can't be that far. I mean, this is the first puzzle in the game, so... Can't be that difficult, right? Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. Missed that one completely. Is this enough? Please let it be enough. Uh, it's not. Okay, so there is at least one more. Mm, somewhere up here. Trap, trap, trap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That one nearly got me. But that must be enough. Oh, it looks brutal. Seriously, if that one hits you, game over. It's still not enough to reveal the story. Okay. Anything? I guess they want to encourage you from the beginning to kind of explore and run around. Which I didn't. At least not enough. Come on. Where are you, trap? Come on, trappy trap. Oh, oh, oh god, that just scared me. Jesus Christ. What about now? Yep. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Where, where are my story points that I have to put in an order? What do I just have to... Oh boy. Look at this on the floor. These are skulls. All of it. Ah, not nice. What does the note say? S-A-P. Zap. Whatever that means. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. Uh -huh. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found the villagers' bones. Ooh. The man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Okay, so... Old man drinking alcohol, having all the... Oh, there's a sketch. Okay. Ethan. I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. God, nobody appreciates his artistic skill, you know? It's like he wrote something. You gotta read it, man. Pay some respect to that. Your kid gets creative. Can I go down there, or is that... Oh, no. In invisible wall. Okay. Another one inside the one dead in house fire. Bayfield County. Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out in a remote house once owned by a Vandergriff. <laughs> this sounds very much like the house we've just investigated. 46 year old Valley Carl. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edmund, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. 
firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and reminded the scene until 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property five hours later to extinguish hotspots, hot which had rekindled. Okay. Assisting at the initial fire was Ashton Township Volunteer Fire Department. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, wait, there's part two, right? It just said on the top part one. Turn it around. You see on the top it says part two. Uh, how can I? Part one of two. Ah, here we go. After heated public hearing, no answer from Vandegrift. Right? Okay, members of the Vandegrift again gathered in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the Vandegrift fortune, which has remained in the escrow since 1961 when family patriarch. Albert Vandegrift, 71, died in a mine accident, the after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandegrift's industrial and cereal damaged the local economy. James Vandegrift, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Vandegrift family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley from Vandegrift estate, stipulated in the Elder Vandegrift will. Mm -hmm. The recent fire in which the value reform was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Since 1967, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandegriff estate as temporary caretakers. So it was their house, I guess. The house that we investigated just before this. Um, obviously, we're doing this a little bit the wrong way around. You know, you should now be intrigued about the house in the beginning of the game, I guess. And then later you find it, but uh, this also works like this, so that's all good. But now my question is, I have now solved this puzzle. Do I now have to walk all the way back to the burnt house, which is in the end of the end of the map, or do I actually can I actually fast travel back? Oh boy, come on, dude. Let me fast travel. It's a nice, you know, it's nice graphics and stuff, but that would be a bit too much to now walk all the way back. Nope, really? It really looks like, it really looks like I have to Walk back, huh? Mm. Was there anything else here that I'm missing? Empty cans. I read the two messages. Anything? Anything that takes me back to that basement? Come on, that's impossible. It, it can't be possible that... What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Hmm. Maybe not. So I guess you guys know what that means. That means we're going to cut it here, turn it into an episode, and uh, I will walk to the next puzzle that was still unsolved and then I see you guys in the next episode so stay tuned leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe to my channel to see more otherwise I see you guys next time thanks for watching and uh, I'm out bye